All right, let's get it going with Tim Bigum of Delta Derivatives. Tim, it's the Coinbase IPO day, and that IPO is getting a ton of attention by investors and traders. What's your trader take? Yeah, absolutely, Anton. It is very important, actually, just because crypto has become such a overall big part of the overall market, uh, certainly over the past three months, especially. So how well received it is, how well it trades uh, post IPO, I think will be important for the market going forward. A lot of stocks have popped on uh, the crypto craze. We'll see how uh, big the legs are on this following the IPO. That Coinbase IPO is almost overshadowing that we have bank earnings coming out today, starting with Wells Fargo and JP Morgan. Are you bullish on the banks? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, uh, the you know mega money center banks will be reporting the rest of this week. Big techs uh, reporting next week. So really a big uh, start to the earnings season. It'll be important that they uh, not only beat, uh, you know, on the uh, top line, but also on the bottom line without using those loan Ross reserves, I think. So, you know, manufacturing earnings is one thing, but I think they're going to have to have organic growth. And as always, you know, where interest rates had that 10-year yield is all important for the banks. Is there any particular bank that you favor? Yeah, if anything, I kind of favor, you know, Bank America over, uh, you know, uh, certainly J.P. Morgan and uh, Citigroup. I think, you know, that has probably uh, been the laggard of the three. I think it's also the lowest, you know, beta of the three overall here. So I think Bank America probably has a little less exposure to the trading side too. Uh, Citi and uh, J.P. both have trading revenues that can be kind of lumpy. So I kind of favor bank just as a safer play going into the big money center bank earnings season. What's your trade of the day, Tim? Yeah, looking at Palantir, which uh, we have seen just repeated big unusual call buying out in May, implied volatility has lifted up. Stock has really been unchanged here, but the calls have actually risen in price decently. So I'm following along with that big call buying, just simply buying the shares selling these comparatively expensive at the money calls, reducing my risk by half, and at the same time, capturing some of this overpayment. I always kind of like that combination, following the flow that way. Thank you so much. You bet any time, Ed. Take care. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.